audience. All right, that is the word coming in from Rico Auto. But there's one more stock which is in focus today, Pyramal Pharma, on the back of fresh brokerage notes. Ekta is telling us what is the brokerage making of Pyramal Pharma. Ekta. Thanks for that. Well, yes, another note which is coming for Pyramal Pharma. It's been active on the brokerage front. Uh, Access Cap has initiated coverage with a buy in a target price of 160. According to them, there is a CDMO recovery ahead. Valuations are attractive. They are well positioned to monetize significant the significant potential in the CDMO market. This is given the increasing China plus one opportunities. They expect a margin recovery to 18.1 percent in the second half of FI23 and 16.3 percent in FI24. And 14 and a half percent in FI22. Remember, Carlyle bought around 20 percent at an equity value of around 2.45 billion dollars in October 2020. It currently trades below 2 billion dollars. Any potential corporate action, such as promoter warrant or further infusion by a PE to reduce debt, can be a re-rating catalyst. Separately, there was additional news which came in for Pyramal Pharma. The USFT has issued a Form 43 with six ob observations for their unit in Kentucky, and uh, they said that it is a voluntary action indicated status, or the uh, you know the observations are related to that. And um, they are not related to data integrity. Remember that Perimal Pharma has an extremely strong track record when it comes to compliance, and hence the street wouldn't really to be too perturbed with any kind of uh, US FDA observations that the street that it has uh, seen simply because of the pristine track record that it has had. Thank you very much, uh, Ekta, for that. Uh, still flat on the benchmark indices, but underneath the surface, Bharti Airtel is making a recovery from the day's low. It's recovered close to about 1.8%. So Bharti Airtel, just pull that up, still down close to about 3.5%. But it started off the year on the back foot. Year to date, Bharti Airtel is down 5%. Last year, it had outperformed. Uh, Bharti Airtel last year was up, I think, close to about 18%, while the markets were up close to about 4%. So there was an outperformance of nearly 14%, but you are seeing part of that getting reversed. And separately, you know, on IT, because IT is doing very well, you know, the street has been very worried about the top line. The revenues are going to come down. In FI23, IT companies will see a growth of double digits, 13, 14, 15%. Next year, FI24, growth rates are expected to be 6, 7, 8 okay. percent. One, because of a base effect. Wow. And two, also because of macro uncertainty, right? The base effect does play out. So mm. it's a combination of these two factors. But despite the top line being at about 6, 7, 8 percent, the EPS growth, according to all the brokerages, mm. is going to be in double digit. Okay. And ultimately, your valuation is a function of your EPS growth. So EPS is going to look, it is going to be in double digits because margins are improving. Attrition okay. was a problem last mm. year, but it's not a problem today. Mm. And that is one of the reasons. Margins will improve, driving a double digit EPS growth. So that could support valuations for IT companies. Okay, bottom line is sanity, right? That's what they say. Thank you, Reema, for explaining that to us. And with that, we'll take your leave on this edition of Midcap Radar. Your when we return.